So here are some experiments we've done with the Philips Hue lights. That's a single bulb, and that's a Hue Go. Basically, these are smart lights where you can program them to turn on and off and change their color possibility depending on which kit you get. Uh, we've been experimenting them with JavaScript. Uh, they communicate through Zigbee and Wi-Fi. This is the bridge connected to the router that we're on, the wireless network, that communicates to them. So we can run a script to find out information on that bridge. Here you can see all the information about the different connections on that bridge as well as the user. Uh, basically up here at the top you see how many lights we have identified with this bridge. Now there's currently four lights. Um, three are these single bulbs and the fourth one is this Philip Hugo. I currently only have one of the three bulbs plugged into a lamp because that's all I have access to. So now I will demonstrate the blinking of the light. So you run this script and basically this light over here will start to blink and toggle on and off. And that's it. And this is the code that it's doing right here. Alright, so we'll stop that script. So now if we wanted to do both, I just have an array of both these light IDs and we run the same basically the same script so now both lights will take their turns toggling on and off So now we're going to do brightness. For some unknown reason, when we do a brightness script, the lights both seem to go to a blue color before they increase the brightness, but basically this is what the code is doing. It's a function that's just changing the brightness. Um, brightness is based off of percentage, so it's 0 to 100. Um, this will just decrease the brightness and then increase it again as it comes back, so we'll run that script, and it turns blue, and then you'll see the brightness slowly increase, you can see the blue around the light gets really intense as it reaches near 100, and it'll become less intense as it slowly dims, it's dimming, it's dimming, it's dimming, it's dimming even more, and now it seems like it's coming back. So that's an interesting concept. So we'll stop that. Now I will do another script that's going to randomly change the color of this light right over here. This is basically what the code is just picking out three random numbers from a random number generator and setting the bulb's light to that. So you're changing a bunch of different colors there. All right. So now we're going to do a disco program. This is basically the same thing as the array blink, but now we're going to do an array of the RGB color changing. So you can see now both lights are slowly changing to a random LED color. And that's basically all we have working for just connecting the Cylon.js JavaScript framework, which is used for robotics, to connect to the Philips Hue's lights. Now I'll be doing another video that's going to be showing how we incorporate the Leap Motion controller to control the lights. Alright, so now we have plugged in the Leap Motion, which uses two cameras and three infrared LEDs to do motion tracking of your hand. You can see here's my hand here on screen. I can add in my other one, but I'm holding the camera, so it doesn't show up very well. Anyways, so this is, we're showing that the leap motion is working currently. We have code. Basically what we had to figure out is that we had to separate the leap motion and the hue light into two different robots. So here's the leap bot for the leap motion, 
and the hue bot for the hue. Um, the reason was we think the adapters were getting confused. Um, we did this simple script that basically turns on and off the bulbs of the hues, just like an LED from an Arduino, based off the frame data from the leap motion. If a hand is present on the leap motion, it should turn on the bulb. If it's not present, it should turn it off. Um, basically what it was eventually boiling down to was the leap motion was being called for the turn on function. And since the leap motion doesn't have a turn on function, it would, you know, fail. So when we broke it back out into two different robots, it, we were able to get the desired results. Um, the only current blocker is that the frame rate on the leap motion is insane. There's about 200 frames per second of data coming through. The hue cannot keep up with that. So we eventually have to throttle it. Um, here's a program that's just running based on my hand is being over it. So if I run this script, put my hand over it, you see the light turn on. My hand's gone, the light turns off. Run the script, put my hand over it, it lights up. Take my hand away, and it turns off. All right, so another program we did was we incorporated gestures into the leap motion. Basically what this program does is we take the different gestures of the leap motion and we do different um, functionality with the hues on them. So I will do a demonstration. This is on both lights, so I'll try and get them both in the recording if I can. So here we go. They both turn on. I'll put my hand over. They both turn on. I'll now do a key tap gesture, which is going to change both of the LEDs. You can see on the screen and on my fingers over there. I will now do, oh, that was a key tap. This is a screen tap, which is just doing the same function. It just changes the LEDs based on that. It's just using the XY coordinates of your hand to do different things. So we have three different uh, functionalities for this script. The first one is gonna be brightness. So let me run that script. This is basically where it's the same as the swipe. However, how, however, how high my hand is from the leap motion, that's how I'll get the intensity of the brightness. Um, so this is a low intensity because my hand's right here. And as I raise my hand, the bulb gets much higher in brightness. This is a little bit easier. So I wouldn't recommend using like a swipe motion or gesture to control the brightness when something like this is much easier. And it responds pretty quickly. I think this is just working with this one bulb for right now. I'll set up the other ones on the second bulb. So now I'm gonna switch the program. from brightness to hue. So now what this is gonna do is based on the X, Y of my hand. This is actually just the X axis. It's gonna be turning color. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but it is turning color. There you go, you can see that the color changed much better now. And all I'm doing is moving my hand along the x-axis as it cycles through the colors. That's all it's doing. So now I'll show you the third implementation of this program. And that's to do gesture control. Uh, this is not a true gesture control and the fact that we're looking at different gestures, but we're just looking if gestures are present, if the lead motion recognizes a gesture, then we will just cycle to a new color. So I'll put my hand over there, it'll turn on. If it sees a gesture, it'll swipe. So I can do any gesture and it'll just do the same thing. So this is just all key taps. These are swiping. If I do a circle motion, circle motion will continue to change the color really fast. That's pretty cool. I'll do a little bit more focus there. So 
you see on the screen on the terminal that's all the gestures it recognizes now using the leap motion we've set up different lights all across the lab with different IDs and I'm going to try to control them based off of where my hand is in relation to the leap motion so let's go ahead and start it no frame data I'm going to put my hand in a specific area of a circle kind of like this now I'll turn on different lights and I'll show you let's see if it works we're going to turn on this red light then orange then yellow we're going to turn on green we're going to turn on blue we're going to turn on this purple one and lastly, it's pink one behind me. So basically, when I take my hand away, all the lights turn off, and this is how I'm turning it on. So there's red, there's orange, there's yellow, there's green, there's blue, there's purple, and then there's pink behind me. So it's like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, or purple, and then over here is the pink. Right over here, I have a little sector that's open that I can use to turn off the lights if I want to. So it's just a cool little script that I have working now. Let's try it one more time, see if I can get a good, good display going for you. We got red, orange, Yellow, green, blue, purple, and behind me, pink. That's basically it.